Pray be seated. Good morning to all of our virtual guests and welcome to Cumberland's 133rd Victoria Day celebrations. Hopefully the sun is shining today, but if not, you can stay dry inside this year and still join us as we celebrate a little differently. Our little village holds the title for the longest continuing Victoria Day celebrations in Canada. We've been hit by some tough challenges last year and again this year, but with some creativity, we've managed to find a way to keep this long honored tradition going. We hope that you were able to enjoy the pop-up parade around town this morning and that we'll get back to having an in-person one next year and for many years to follow. We are honored to hold our gatherings on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nations. Before we get started today, we would like to honor a member of our committee, Jackie Hawes, who sadly passed away on January 1st of this year. Jackie grew up in Cumberland and was the daughter of Jack and Vera Hill, who were the proprietors of Ferloni's Grocery from 1958 until 1972. Jackie was chosen to be a part of the 1965 May Queen Royal Party, serving as an attendant to May Queen Maxine Anderson, along with attendant Margaret Gilkin, page boys Billy Moore and Ian McNaughton, and flower girl Terry Ann Ward. Jackie was always a supporter of all things Cumberland. In 2012, she and her sister Judy took on the task of training the royal parties and serving on the Cumberland Event Society. She did this faithfully for the past nine years. In honour of Jackie, the Cumberland Event Society has asked her grandson, Samuel Hawes, to serve as a page boy in this year's royal party. Jackie would have been so thrilled to see Samuel, a resident of Cumberland, carry on this time-honoured tradition. I would also like to acknowledge the Cumberland Events Committee, all the volunteers, and last but not least, Kim Bannerman and Sean Peggett from Fox and Bee that made this year possible for us. Thank you. This year, the Cumberland Event Society has chosen the theme Salute to Cumberland Firefighters. In 1894, it was that the Cumberland and Union Volunteer Fire Department was formed with 25 members signing up. The first department was a hook and ladder company and buckets. Hooks and ladders were donated and a hand engine acquired. The un Union Colliery donated land on the southwest corner of Dunsmere and First Street to build a fire hall. In 1911, the Cumberland Fire Department turned their assets over to the City of Cumberland with conditions it, including it remain a volunteer service and that the City would maintain and inspect all of the firefighting equipment and hydrants. In 1914, the name was changed to Cumberland Volunteer Fire Department. In 1919, the department acquired the first motorized vehicle and in 1928 replaced the fire bell with a siren. Over the years, Cumberland Fire Department battled many fires, including major fires that devastated the downtown core of Cumberland in both 1932 and 1933, and a large part of Chinatown in 1935. Today, Cumberland Fire Rescue is renowned for their expertise in auto extrication and highway rescue. Taking awards and competitions almost every year, in 2002, they represented Canada at the World Auto Extrication Competitions in Prague, Czech Republic. Cumberland Fire Rescue is recognized as the oldest volunteer fire department in BC and in 2020 celebrated their 125th anniversary. In 2021, they moved, without much fanfare, to their new fire hall on Cumberland Road. To the Cumberland Fire Rescue, we salute you and we thank you. I will now introduce this year's May Queen party. Retiring May Queen, Lorelei Bell. Attendant, Clea Bono-Williams. May Queen elect, Madeline Davies. Attendant, Gabriella LaCourse. Page boys Samuel Hawes and Carter Naswell. Flower girls Katie Denier, Alice Fuller, and Emmy Lewis. 
Please join us now with Ellie McNamee and Ellie Roger, who will lead us in the singing of O Canada and God Save the Queen. Would everyone please stand and remove your hats. Thank you. Everyone, please be seated. Mary Baird, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. On the last day of my two year reign, I would like to sincerely thank everyone who has made this day possible. I'm truly honored to represent Kremlin as the 103rd May Queen. As I pass the crown on to the Queen Madeline, I would like to wish her a year filled with the same incredible memories that mine has given me. Madeline, I wish you all your best as your 132nd reign begins.
Queen Madeline, on behalf of the residents in Cumberland, I'd like to give you this ring in remembrance of today. Congratulations, well done. Queen Lorelei, Mayor Baird, esteemed viewers and citizens of Cumberland. My attendants and I are honored to represent Cumberland on the 133rd Victoria Day celebration. This historic ceremony has been an integral part of our village's tradition and is a wonderful way for us to celebrate community and together, even while we're remaining apart. I know I speak for both parties by saying thank you to everyone who has helped me make this day happen. Even though it looks different, we are happy to be carrying on this historic Cumberland tradition. May next year see us gathering again as we keep this wonderful Victoria Day celebration alive in our village. Let the dancing begin. Hi everyone, it's Josie Osborne, your MLA for Mid-Island Pacific Rim, reaching out to Cumberland to say Happy Empire Days. And also a special shout out to BC's oldest fire department, 
Thank you so much to this fire department for keeping Cumberland safe for over 125 years. I'm also reaching out to say congratulations to Madeline Davies, the newest May Queen. I know it's been a long wait and we're all working through this pandemic together and your patience is now paying off and I'm really happy you're going to get a chance to shine. I know you're going to be a fantastic community representative for Cumberland and I wish you all the best. I can't wait to see everybody in person celebrate one day soon. Until then, stay safe and take care of each other. Hi, it's Gord Johns, Member of Parliament for Courtney Alberni. I want to uh, wish greetings to everybody who's been able to come out to, uh, for Cumberland's 133rd Victoria Day celebrations in 2021 or joining us virtually. I regret that obviously we're not all coming together this year, uh, but look forward to the day when we can all come together in the village to celebrate in the manner in which generations of Vancouver Islanders have been accustomed to. Thank you very much to our 2019 May Queen, uh, Lorelai Bell. Lorelai has been the longest serving uh, May Queen in the history of Cumberland. Thank you for your service. And congratulations to Madeline Davies, this year's Queen. Uh, may you reign over a year of recovery for the good people of Cumberland, and may you preside in health and safety over next year's uh, celebration. Love and courage to all. I miss you all very much and can't wait for the day when we can all t come together again. Please take care, everybody, and be safe. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to respectfully acknowledge that we are standing on the unceded territory of the Comox First Nations. On behalf of Council, I would like to thank the Cumberland Event Society for continuing the tradition of the Cumberland Victoria Day celebration. The last two years have been challenging for the committee and residents during the pandemic. You have given us the opportunity to pull together and succeed as Cumberland always does. I would like to thank the dignitaries that have participated in today's event. A special thank you to retiring May Queen, Laura Lee, for being the longest reigning May Queen in our history. Her attendant, Clea, who holds this honor as an attendant. May Queen Madeline, congratulations. We wish you a very successful year. To the parents of the Royal Party, thank you for your patience and commitment. To all the volunteers that made this happen today, a big thank you. With everything going well, we will be we will be back next year pre-COVID celebrations. The Cumberland Event Society would like to thank everyone for watching and we hope you will join us next year for the festivities. Please be kind, be calm, and be safe. Thank you.